Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 61 and chapter 2. At the first time when we read it, it looks very difficult, but then we can draw a picture to figure out what happens. Then it will be more easy to understand, more straightforward. We can see that tell us there is a falling stone it takes 0 0.33 seconds to travel past a window 2.2 meter tall. So in this one, we can draw a picture. We see the because this is a free for body, we see this uh, pointing down as a positive direction. Do you agree? Yeah. And then the acceleration is due to gravity. It is always pointing down. The magnitude for acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. There we choose the reference point as where the stone is just released. So the in velocity, initial velocity is zero. The initial position is zero. Then this stone falls to the top of the window. At the top of the window, we see this, this, this position is y1, the time taken is t1. Then the stone falls to the bottom of the window, the position is y2, time taken is t2, and there we know y2 equal to y1 plus 2.2, t2 equal to t1 plus 0 0.33. Agree? When we solve the problems, we can see the known quantities and unknown quantities. It looks like we need to find the, re the, the equations displacement with the time taking. Do you agree? Yes. Therefore, we can write the equation. First one, y1 equal to initial position y0 plus 0t plus 1 half at squared. And this is y2. Agree? No problem. And then we input the known quantities y0 is 0 and v0 is 0. So the a is g. We can get y1 is this one, y2 is this one. Agree? Is a t2. And then we can see there is a relationship between them. y2 equals to y1 plus 2.2. t2 equals to t1 plus 0 0.33. So then we can input these equations inside. We can see we find this one y2. 2 is 1 half g t2 squared. t2, we write it as t1 plus 0 0.33 squared. And then equals the, the right side is 1 half g t1 squared, right? This is y1 plus 2.2. .2. In this way, it's super easy for us to solve the problem t1 is a half of a second. After we know the t1, we know the t2, right? Now, ask you from what height above the top of the window did the stone fall? So that means we need to find y1. So there t1 is given. So find y1 becomes easy because we know initial position, we know initial velocity, and we know acceleration. y1 is 1 half g t1 squared. See there? y1 is 1 half g t1 squared. We put the known number inside, we get it's 1.3 meter. Thank you.